A relentless heat wave is hitting a big part of the country. That's right. The National Weather Service says more than 111 million of you are under heat advisories. Officials are also warning the heat's bringing a new fire risk to some western states. Meanwhile, a series of tornadoes caused widespread damage to the Chicago area last night. The storms forced hundreds of cancellations of flights. No injuries have been reported. CBS News correspondent Janet Shamley joins us now from Houston. So, Janet, it's been almost two weeks of dangerous temperatures. You're in Texas, where the power grid is seeing record high usage. Will it be able to hold up? Hi, Lana, and hello out to you, Errol. That is the hope here in Texas today, because if you live in Texas, you probably remember more than two years ago when it was wintertime, but the grid did not hold up. And that was a major problem because it was winter. Millions of homes, including my own, were without power for multiple days and below freezing temperature. ERCOT, the organization that manages the grid here in Texas, is saying that it has enough capacity to meet demand for this current heat wave. Keep in mind, this is the second heat wave that Texas has had this summer. This one is going to be slightly cooler, and by cooler I mean just a matter of a few degrees. And we survived that first heat wave with the power grid intact. So there is hope that we'll survive this heat wave as well. You know, viewers may be stunned, Janet, to realize that over the last three decades, more people have died uh, from the heat than hurricanes, tornadoes, and cold weather conditions combined, which I think is really stunning. I appreciate the fact that you're wearing one of those neck coolers. I know. I'm wondering it's if it fan, actually works. Right? I think it's like a, a, an ongoing fan that keeps you cool. Talk to us about that and other things people are doing to, you know, to get relief from this relentless heat. Yeah, it's actually the worst of all worlds because I'm wearing it and it's heavy on my neck, but our fabulous audio technician, Joe Hancock, will not let me turn it on <laughs> because he says that it's going to be too, too much loud. noise to interfere with the microphone. So let's just throw this away. Um, but yeah, something like that, I mean, easy to get. I think mine was like 20 bucks, right? Um, and I will tell you, we're here at Discovery Green in Houston, which is sort of an outdoor park, multi-use facility with restaurants. There are kind of fountains that come out of the ground where kids can play and um, a, a playground, as you can see behind me. And they have started doing events after dark. They're calling it Park After Dark because it's pretty hot to be out here right now. And in yeah. fact, our photographer uh, went over and took the surface temperature of the playground that the kids were just playing on here. It was 128 degrees. Oh, so, wow. uh, you know, common sense guidance like that, but also the city has opened cooling centers, as have uh, states like California, right? Every library in Houston is a cooling center right now. Community centers are cooling center. I mean, it's just a matter of common sense for a lot of these things. And again, it's not just here in Texas. We're looking to Arizona. We're looking to California. This is a massive heat wave across the country. You know, Janet, uh, as, as you were talking about how your ha home had lost power and the problems of the heat, climate change obviously comes to mind. It's making these events worse. Is our infrastructure ready? And are there, and I think that the answer is no, um, are there plans to try and get prepared for that? Yeah, it's probably not ready. We all know that. Um, time will bear this out. Right now, uh, for example, California is instituting a $400 million plan to take on heat. What are they going to do making cooling centers available? But that is a question we're going to be uh, testing and finding the answers to, Lana, over the next couple of decades. Mm -hmm. Janet Shamlian, our thanks to you and the crew. Get that neck fan turned back on. All right. <laughs> See you guys.